So now I'm at the farmer's market down by the harbor and the fruit and the vegetables are incredible. I'm going to show you. Look at all of the choices and look at the gorgeous colors. Tomatoes, peppers, cauliflower, onions. Ooh, these are papayas. And have you ever seen any bigger beets in all of your life? There is, oh my gosh, there's okra and kale. Oh, fresh ginger. Ooh, what I could do with these things in the kitchen, but of course I'm not home. So anyway, there are all these gorgeous vegetables. And this actually reminds me about reliability. And here's how. Because, consider this, when it comes to our physical assets, there's all kinds of things that we could do to um, take care of them, right? When it comes to maintenance, there is condition-based maintenance, there is preventive maintenance, there's scheduled replacements, and there's scheduled discards. So with all of those options available to us, not to mention default strategies, right? Where we could consciously decide no scheduled maintenance for a particular failure mode. Um, we could decide to do a failure finding task for protective devices. We've been talking about protective devices. We could maybe make a change to the equipment design. There's all kinds of different things that we could do. So it begs the question, how on earth do you decide what to even do? Well, this is one of the great strengths of reliability centered maintenance. Because when you do RCM, what you do is you identify the failure modes that could cause you not to get what you need from your equipment or that could cause failure. And then you figure out the, char the technical characteristics of it, right? Like for example, if you've got an age-related failure mode, like oil, let's just take engine oil for example, um, that's age-related. So technically, it could be the right thing to do to like change the oil every so often, right? You could also do condition-based maintenance, right? We could also do oil analysis. but. When it comes to random failure modes, doing preventive maintenance is not the right thing to do, for sure. Not only does it not do any good if it's random and you like do a scheduled replacement or a scheduled restoration on a set interval, not only is that a waste of time, but you could actually be destabilizing an otherwise stable system by you know, tearing things apart and doing maintenance on something like that but just because a failure mode is occurs randomly a lot of times most times failure modes give us a warning that failure is in the process of occurring right things like heat and vibration and that kind of stuff that we can monitor with our human senses or with sophisticated monitoring devices so RCM helps us to identify the technically right things to do and not only what tasks to do, but how often to do them. Let's pause. I have to show you these, the incredible food. Look at these berries. Oh my gosh, there's blueberries and raspberries and strawberries. We got grapes, avocados, ooh, mangoes. Mangoes are so good. Look at the color on these peppers and oh my gosh, and these eggplant. Oh, I want to buy them all and make all kinds of things, um, but we have to get back to me. So that's why all of these delicious vegetables and fruit reminds me about reliability scented maintenance. It's just like if I came to the market because I wanted to get something to, to make for dinner, well, I can't just come here and, and, and pick... Um, you know, asparagus and uh, mango and grapes and expect to make a delicious meal. I have to have a recipe. I have to know in mind what I'm going to do. And that's kind of like what RCM is, right? It, it helps you to develop the right recipe for proactive maintenance and anything else that you need to do to get the kind of reliability that you want for your equipment. So, if you don't want to just wander around aimlessly, Thank you.
and just choosing something because you like the color, a vegetable or a fruit or whatever it is. If you don't want to be wandering around in your organization, so to speak, wandering around in your mind, you know, maybe you're in reactive mode or you're not getting what you need from your machines and you're not sure how to get the reliability you want, well then Reliability Scented Maintenance is an excellent place to start. The reliability moment would be this. So now we're on the water taxi on the way to the boat that's going to take us out for the surprise party.